I hate worrying. But what else can you do? When there's this constant weight of just, you know, what if it's tonight? What if in the morning I get the phone call? What do you do when you're in love with someone and you don't know if they're going to make it until tomorrow? What do you do when you get a text in the middle of the night that she's scared and she needs you? You run to her. Thank you for being here. Don't worry about it. I'm happy to. I'm gonna miss nights like this. Jane. Sorry, sorry. I, I'm not trying to be a downer. I just... I just meant I'm glad you're here. I love Jane. I do. But I don't think I'll ever understand her. It's like she's always had this plan since as long as I've known her to live an incredibly exciting life, do everything she's wanted to, and then die at age 17. Get out before life gets too hard or whatever. And I know the future is scary. Especially if you don't know what you want to do, or if life hasn't given you much reason to think anything good could come of it. But with Jane's 18th birthday right around the corner, her plans have been feeling a little too real. I, I don't know what to do, because I don't want her to die, but it's not like telling her that would make any difference. I don't want you to die. I, I didn't think you did. Then why do you have to? Peter, we all have to. I just don't want to wait around for it. I've made up my mind, okay? I know what I want. Be careful. Sorry. Well, go ahead. What? Make the call. Tell me when I can go. When it's safe. Oh. Can I go now? No. How about now? No. <laughs> One of the things I love most about Jane is how every moment with her feels like the end of the world. Like death's so near and everything's falling apart, but there we stand, just holding on to each other as she's waiting. Stuck in